The Chimes organization has helped people with mental and physical disabilities for more than half a century. And as 11 News' Kim Daisy found out, they're holding a fundraiser to help continue that work and honor some VIPs who've helped the organization thrive. This is part of Denisha Williams' normal school day. It's a multi-sensory room at the Chimes School designed for students with physical and mental disabilities. Since moving here from a public school, she's thrived. They just took time with her. They talk to her, they treat her like a normal, you know, like a normal child. But they had that extra love for her and she, she adapted to that very well. And now she's reading, she's writing, she knows her name, all her alphabets, numbers, counting up to 50. What kinds of things have you learned here? Math. Math's your favorite, huh? The school for students aged 6 to 21 is just one of the facets of the Chimes organization. All of their work centers around helping people with disabilities learn to live independently. Well, the basic premise that always underlies what we do at Chimes is the fact that we believe that every individual, no matter how disabled he or she may seem to be, can learn, can grow, and can develop. Terry Pearl is retiring as CEO of the Chimes organization after 40 years. He's being inducted into the Chimes Hall of Fame at a gala and fundraiser Saturday night. And those funds will be used to enhance residential and adult programs here in Maryland and in other places where Chimes provide services. He's seen Chimes expand a great deal during his tenure, including the expansion and new facility for the school that's helped students like Denatia. When she was born, her mother was told she'd never walk or talk, but she has far exceeded those expectations with the help of Chimes. It just brings tears to my eyes, really, because I never thought that she would be able to do anything. For more information on Chimes or how you can donate, you can visit our website, WBALTV.com. In Baltimore, Kim Dacey, WBAL-TV 11 News.